here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we are bringing down all the fall decor. We are going to go through it. We're gonna make a little bit of an edit. I don't know how much we will get rid of, so we might do some donations. I'm definitely going to create a bin for my kids to kind of pick through, see if there's anything in there that they would like. If not, we'll donate things, but I need to edit. So I have six bins that I need to fit all of our fall and Halloween decor inside. We need to contain, <laughs> which means that I don't have a lot of extra room for things that I don't absolutely love. I have these two bins here, these four bins right here. So you could see that there are things in here that I didn't even use this fall season. So I need to really make some decisions today on what I wanna keep and what I would like to get rid of. So here we've got, most of this is all Halloween decor stuff but I do want to kind of go through everything and just make sure that, you know, I have everything in that I really, really want. I only have room. I only have enough space in my seasonal decor closet for these six boxes. Here is our seasonal decor closet. So you can see that I've got two bins here, one here, a couple of bins up there, but that's about as much room as I have to kind of dedicate to fall and Halloween. The rest of this closet is all our Christmas stuff, all the holiday decor. So obviously for me, priority <laughs> is holiday decor. Actually, this is Easter stuff and this is the Valentine's Day stuff, but you know, the majority of the stuff in here is Christmas. So. I'm not going to get rid of most of this stuff. Who knows, maybe at the end of the season we will do an edit like we're doing for fall for Christmas. But really I'm thinking we just need to make sure that we are using just enough space, the least amount of space, with the six bins and keeping only the things that we really, really like. Part of being organized, staying organized, is to make sure that you have the least amount of clutter possible. So. Keep the things that you love, get rid of the things that you don't. That way you're using up that valuable real estate that comes with storage. Depending on how much storage space you have, you need to make sure that you keep only the things that are gonna fit within your allotted space. That's how you kind of keep away clutter and stay organized. Now I did buy some extra things, like we've got some extra Halloween goodies, that I am definitely going to need to make sure that we make room for. And again, we have to make sure that we keep everything within the containers that I have. I don't want to buy another container. And I know it's so easy to just run over to Walmart or Target, grab another bin, <laughs> and then just stick everything in it. But I really do need to clean and edit this out like these pumpkins right here, those, the plaid, we don't, we don't do that anymore. So I don't need to keep those. So that's kind of what we're going to do today. Clean everything out, get everything edited up. And then for example, when I take apart this right here, I know for the Christmas decor, I'm going to want to use a lot of our candlesticks. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do for all of that as well and then we'll just kind of walk around and start taking things like this tablescape and this mantle apart. And I wanna start with a clean slate for when we bring down all of our Christmas and holiday decor, and we'll just be able to go in and decorate everything up, and all of the fall stuff will be done, put away, things, surfaces will be clean, and we'll be ready to go. So, let's get to it. It seems like each year there's some element that I fall in love with. And this year I'm loving tapered candles and candlesticks. I love the elegant look, I love candlelight, and there's just so much that you can do with them. So some of the candlesticks had melted wax, so I used a screwdriver to get the stuck in wax, and then my cast iron 
plastic scraper for the bottom because I didn't want to ruin the finish and it worked just fine. It's not perfect, but it is definitely good enough. I know I'll use these for holiday decor, so I don't want to pack them away and this is the perfect way to keep them to the side yet easy to get to and it looks so pretty displayed on the new wall unit in my office. I love when you can use decor to not only use as storage, but also make a space look pretty while in storage. I'm so happy right now because not only is this now storage, but it is so pretty. We've got just pretty vases up here. We've got most of the candlesticks. Look at how pretty is that? And we have lots of room in this little thing. And I got this on the clearance in our fall slash Halloween at Michael's when we looked at the clearance items. That's what this is. And look at, <laughs> used candlesticks right in there. I'm so excited about that. And now for Christmas, I can just come in and grab the size I want. And if, if I don't use it, we just leave it up here and it looks really pretty. So it's decor in here when it is not in use out within my home. what we're working with. So I have gone throughout the entire house <laughs> and I have pulled everything and everything that we need to pack away is here on this table. I've got all my bins here. I've already taken the Halloween stuff and pretty much packed it away, but I'm going to undo it because you can see that I just kind of threw things in here just to kind of take care of it. But if you look here, a lot of our packing paper is in this bin here. So I do want to properly pack this stuff away. By the way, how did I not bring this cup out at Halloween time? I missed her. I don't know. But it's things like this that I want to, like I knew that I wasn't going to use these pumpkins. So I didn't even bring this tub down when I was doing Halloween decor. So I totally forgot that that one was in there. So I just want to clean everything off, get things organized a little bit more and pack everything away so that I am efficiently using space in all of these bins. Now we edit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull everything out of these bins so I know what I'm going to keep and what I am going to discard. So anything that I edit out, I'm gonna put in this basket right here and then I'm going to know exactly what I have, what I am going to keep, and then I'll also be able to kind of eyeball how much I have so I know how to uh, fill up and utilize the space in these bins, like maximize space. So I think this is a good plan. So let's go ahead and start editing out all the bins I've got. When I'm storing things away, I try to use the softer items like dish towels to protect the more fragile or delicate items. I use the fabric-y type things as a cushion or to keep things from getting scratched up. Obviously, you can use butcher paper, bubble wrap, even plastic grocery store bags that you might have on hand because you keep forgetting your reusable bags. But I think that when you can use your decor as protection, that's just winning. I love a good multi-use item.
Now these taller things are contained within the bin that will go on the top shelf because that top shelf can accommodate taller items. If I didn't have that top shelf with the space above, I would have just set them up against the lower shelving, but it's definitely convenient to have tall ceilings. Okay, I cannot believe that we just got <laughs> all of that in this bin. So I had completely forgotten about the front porch. And if you guys recall, we got a whole bunch of florals for the front porch. Obviously I'll have to get rid of the pumpkins. Oh, update. These lasted the entire season and I could not be happier. We did a video on how to preserve them because every year they always like mushed up because of the heat and whatnot. Anyways, we situated and they were awesome. So I do have these florals, these florals, these pine cones. This you actually flip around. You can see there's a situation on the back side. And obviously we need to take that off. <laughs> but anyways, so we got everything out of here. Oh, we're gonna leave those because this is very Christmassy. So I'm good with leaving those out. And thank goodness, because there isn't much more that we could have fit into that bin right there. So the other stuff is just gonna have to go into Christmas stuff. All I have left is these. All of this paper will be used to kind of protect all that. We'll put it into this bin right here. This is what I have for my editing. <laughs> not a lot, not a lot there. about as good as we're gonna get, <laughs> but I'll take it. Table is empty. We are all cleaned up. Everything fit, six bins. I am so excited about that. I have all of our extra wrapping and padding in this little bin right here. But you guys, <laughs> this is these are the only items that I did not keep. This is the this is my purge pile. I'm not into Ray Dunn at all anymore. In fact, this is not my favorite font at all. I don't prefer it at all. I'm over the plaid stuff, so yeah, this is it. I am sweaty and hot, but this feels amazing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Everything is right there. And obviously all the Christmas decor is coming down next. Oh, I am truly <laughs> hot and sweaty. Man, it took five trips to take all those bins upstairs because some of them were pretty darn heavy and then lifting them up to get them up in the closet. That was a workout in itself, but I'm so happy that that's done and we truly have 
a fresh, clean slate for all of the holiday decor that is coming up. So if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. I try to post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so a few times a week, and when December 1st rolls around, we're gonna be posting every single day through the 25th. So if holiday decor, seasonal goodness, all of the those holiday vibes, if that is your jam, I would love for you to join me, especially when December comes around. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.